So I'm sitting there. And all of a sudden, Pac's dressing room is on the next side. And next thing you know, I hear, we hear this, who the fuck? And somebody threw a chair, um, like you could hear the chair hit the, 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 um, the, wall. the wall. And somebody's cussing. So my boy in my group says, ain't that your homie? I said, yeah. They said, well, is he tripping? And I said, no, no, no. They said, well, go, go check that out. So I said, okay, well, here, just let me go. Because I knew how Pac was. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Did you ever meet Tupac? Oh, yeah, of course. Let's talk about that. What was it like meeting Tupac, knowing Tupac? Tupac, very complicated person. Very complicated. Every Everybody tells a different story about Tupac. Well, you know what? Um... One day, I got to get Money B on here. so he can Shout out to Money B. I done talked to you several times. You supposed to have been on Boss Talk 101, but I'll see you when I see you. I'm coming for you. That's my homie. Let's go. Um, so Money used to be my manager for a minute. Really? Yeah, we did a song together. Um, I think they still owe us money for that. Uh, we did a song called, um, um, what is that song? Uh, ooh, na 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 na. We did that before. Um, we did that before. We actually did that before uh, a rap with that. Um... Um, oh, dun, dun, dun. we did, we did, um, it was, ooh, na, 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 make you say, ooh, na, 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 we did that. We did that with Rafael. No, y'all uh, didn't. Dwayne Wiggins. Master P did no, that. we did that before Master P. No. Um, I'll show you, I'll show it to you on, um, on, um, on YouTube. So you think Master P heard it or no? Uh, well, I mean, it's from an old school song, so. Anybody could have heard that song, but. So he but basically. Well, we did, but we did, it was, and it's on a thing called Oakland Soul Compilation. And we did it, and we, me and Money B did it. Ooh, it was before, it was before Master P did it. No way. I'm serious. Mine. But Please Master, come but, but Master, Master show P, him. But Master P did it better. It well, hit harder. Well, well, apparently it did it better. He sold more records than we did. <laughs> apparently, of course, it did it better. So, what made you guys do that song? Just the older song that you guys, yeah, I mean, did y'all get it cleared? I mean, um, we were working with Dwayne Wiggins. It was on his label. Oh, okay. So, uh, Mun, Mun was like, Deuce, this is what I want you to do. So, I was like, okay, cool. So that was early on. Mm -hmm. That was early on. That was like 95. Something. So you met the early Tupac. Oh, yeah. I will. Okay, so my cousin, um, the one that Gangsta Lean sung, sung about, him and Tupac, they grew up together. They were real close friends. And so his name was Amir. Amir, Amir Wakili Joseph. And um, Amir um, knew Tupac. And they were they were good friends. And my Amir lived in Berkeley. Um, and actually, when you see I Get Around, the video, that's my cousin, uh, on the you know, jumping around with, with, Tupac. with Tupac. That's him. And um, I got to meet him, you know, through my cousin. And then through, of course, Mun and stuff. And then we actually did a little tour with him. Didn't turn out too well, but. Yeah. What happened? Man, so I, so I, out the group, I'm the one that knew Tupac. Breathe. Remember MC Breathe? Of course. So Breathe was on this little. Breathe, no, Breathe wasn't on the tour. But Breathe and Tupac, like he, this. He tough. So we were in Chicago. And we were going to do a show in North Bend, Indiana. Now, to get to North Bend from Chicago, you got to take this little truck, little plane, little propeller plane. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And um, and we had a, we were carrying a DAP machine with us. Well, the DAP machine was too was too heavy. So they're like, well, it's either y'all or the DAP machine. So it, it delayed us from getting over there. So the promoter thought we we weren't coming. Well, we told him, hey, we just, we're coming. We just got to get this flight together. So when we got there, Bree was in our dressing room. And we was like, what's going on? So the promoter said, well, Pac said y'all wasn't getting paid because um, y'all didn't show up. And we was like, but we told you we was on our way. So we was like, I ain't gonna lie, we kind of got gangster on the promoter. And we was like, no, dude, you're gonna give us our money. Because Ham is like, no, you get to get. I'm telling you, Ham was like, go get that money. So we went he in. He was there? No, Ham on the phone. phone. Y'all called, he said, get the our money. Our manager was with us. He was like, no, no. So we went to the homeboy and was like, no, dude, you're going to give us some money. So he paid us some money. And we said, well, you're going to get him out the um, dressing room. So they go in there and they tell Bree, you got to leave. This is DRS dressing room. So we go in there. So you're yeah. saying y'all put Bree out that dressing room? Well, we, it was our dressing room. It don't matter. Y'all put him out. Well, whatever. But anyway. <laughs> so you start to start something. But let me tell you what happened. All right, Peter Bree. I was a big now, fan. Let me tell you what Ain't happened. Ain't no future in your front. Let me tell you what happened. <laughs> So I'm sitting there, and all of a sudden, Pac's dressing room is on the next side. And next thing you know, 
I hear, we hear this, who the fuck? And somebody threw a chair, um, like you could hear the chair hit the, 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 um, the, wall. the wall. And somebody's cussing. So my boy in my group says, ain't that your homie? I said, yeah. They said, well, is he tripping? And I said, no, no, no. They said, well, go, go check that out. So I said, okay, well, here, just let me go. Because I knew how Pac was. So I go to the door. His bodyguard opens the door. What? Hey, tell Pac it's Deuce from DRS. Tell Miss Lamar. Um, is he okay? He okay in there? So he said, hold on. He closed the door. Why he closed the door? My boys come out. What's up? Is he cool? I said, hey, go back inside. So listen, look at this. All of a sudden, he op Pac opens the door. And there's four other dudes behind me. And I'm standing there. What you think he thought? That y'all finna come squabble. Puck that man at me. Oh, deuce. I know you didn't do I know you didn't bring them up here like this. I said, and so I'm going, no, Pop, I swear I was by myself when I came to the door. They just happened to come out. So he slammed the door on me. I go, I go back to my side. We do the show. Good show. Um, we was going back to the hotel. I seen Pac. Now, at this point, I had been talking to Pac all the time. Now, he didn't, I'm be honest with you, he didn't really care for some of the guys in my group, to be real with you. But, you know, we're from the town. God is my witness. Pac gets on the elevator. My boy EJ, if he ever comes back out, will tell you. We're on the elevator. Pac has, is in the middle. His bodyguards are surrounding him. And we're on the side of the elevator. I'm like, hey, what's up, man? And he went like this to me. I said, it was a good show tonight, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Pac said nothing to me. <laughs> he said nothing to me. And I'm like, Pac, I know you ain't mad. And so I'm dumb. She just left alone. I'm trying to explain myself. Pac, let me, hey, I'm like, EJ, tell him what happened. Da -da -da -da. He went to his floor. Got off, went to his room. Next show, he don't speak to nobody. Third show, we got kicked off. <laughs> God. So, um, so Mun, they were doing that. Um, I get around when I'm down with the underground, and I remember I called Mun. Mun was in L.A. They were because they did it in L.A. in the in the Valley area, and I remember I called Mun. Mun said, "What?" I said, "What are y'all doing?" He was like, oh, we're doing a video with Pac. And I said, well, you know, Pac don't like me no more. And um, he was like, oh, deuce, you, it ain't true. And then I remember he asked him, and Pac was like, tell him, come on. And I was so like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here I go. You know, like, and it was just like, nothing had happened. Like nothing happened. So you went to that shoot, to the video. Yeah, yeah, I didn't get, I didn't get in it, but I, I ran over there. But, but the thing was, was that, um, did you get to see him or talk? Yeah, to I him? mean, I talked, I, I got to, I, I spoke to him, but you know, it was like, you know, I ain't gonna lie. Pac was a little, you know, like, you know, you know, he could, you know, I remember this argument. If Pac didn't believe it, you could not talk him into it. Whoa. I remember this when we were young. I remember, um, I don't know if Mun was around. I know maybe, um, I think my boy L was around. L Rock, I think. I found out that the sky is not blue. You know about that? No. The sky isn't blue. What color is it? I went it? to school, so the sky is clear. But what happens is, is when the sun comes out, it does a reflection on the water, and it beams back up. Wow. That color. That's why at nighttime, because the sky was blue, think about it, we wouldn't be able to see the stars. Because it's clear. That's why at nighttime, we can see all the stars. At daytime, you don't see none of it. Because it's that reflection of the blue water that beams back up that makes it look like it's blue. I was talking just learning something today, I did not know it. Then what happened on cloudy days? You notice they're clouds, you see clouds. Then you'll see in between the clouds, but the clouds block out everything. Think about it. But if the cloud block out, I'm talking like if the reflection was coming back up, wouldn't the clouds be blue? No, because the clouds, the reflection is not coming down from those clouds. Because it blocks it's the a sun. Blocker. It's, it's covering. Mm. So then when the clouds move, the sun shines down. So that's what it is. And 
I tried to tell Pac that one time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I did. I mean, I'm telling you, I'm crying. I'm kind of crazy too. <laughs> and what did he say? He did not believe you. He told me, "You believe everything the white boys." <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> but my thing was, but it was true. I really, I looked it up, and it's true. It is that that sun beams down. Look it up. Google it. That's right. And it, and that's what happened. Who run Google? But let me tell you that. Who run Google? But no, but I mean, <laughs> the same people that told you that the world was flat <laughs> but at first. I know it ain't flat. You know what I mean? <laughs> so my thing is, is that, but it was just like so, and I and I remember, just like I tried to do in the elevator, but we were younger then. I tried to talk him into that. I tried to, no, you gotta believe me. This is what. But one thing I always say to people, if Pac, that's why if Pac believes you did something to him, there's you could not tell Pac. He didn't do that. So you think him. that had a play in the Biggie thing when B, he thought Biggie and them had something to do again? Yeah, when I, when I heard about it and when they were telling me. You knew. I said, well, you know what? Um, there's no one that's going to, if he believes that he did it, there's nobody that's going to be able to talk him out and say, no, he didn't do it, even if they had proof. I believe if he, he was, a, if he believed it, that was it. He must have one person that he listens to. Maybe his, his mama. mama. Yeah. But other than that, I think of Feeney, but. But other than that, but honestly, oh, you know who else I think he would listen to? Mun and probably Shock. God rest both Shock and, uh, and Pac. Wow. Mun is still here. I want to ask you about the day when you heard that Pac had got killed in Las Vegas. Man. What was that like for you being that you was closely connected to it? Well, I didn't believe it at first. And... Um, Cause you know he didn't die that night. No, he didn't. A lot of people don't know that. And um, I, um, I actually called Money B. I called Ronnie. I called Money, and I, um, I asked him, "Did he really die?" And Money let me know. You know what I'm saying? So when people tell me, "Oh, he's in Africa," Mun wouldn't lie to me. Yeah. Mun, Mun, went, Mun went to the real funeral. You know what I'm saying? Because there was a funeral, but everyone wasn't invited. Wow. And so you, so you you had to hear from Money B in order to know. Well, because I, I I was thinking like, you know, like, can this really be? You know, he's gone. You know what I'm saying? And um, he was. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.